Okay guys, so we are looking at fractional volume now. So on this slide it says the rectangular prism was built with half inch blocks. So we need to find the length, width, and height of the rectangular prism. And then we're going to find the volume. So this is a little bit different from the last um, volume lesson because uh, usually these would be built with each of these being one unit, one inch, one meter, whatever it is. Um, but now it's telling you that each of these blocks is one half of an inch. So if you think about it, that means every two blocks is one full inch, right? Two halves equals one whole. So that's kind of what we need to do is figure out what these side lengths are and then use those new numbers to find the volume. So what I mean is like right here, when I put these two together, that makes one inch. These two together, that makes an inch. And then I've got one left over. Remember each of these is worth a half. So this is one half. So I had two full inches and a half, or you could definitely do these as decimals. I like to do them as decimals since we get to use calculators, so I'm really gonna call it 2.5, okay? Then when I look at the width, it's two blocks wide, that is one. So we've got two and a half by one, and then the height, again, is two blocks, so by one. There's my length, width, and height for that rectangular prism. So then these three new numbers that I just got, that's what I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to do the 2.5 times 1 times 1. And while you get to use calculator, this one's pretty easy. We get 2.5. It is volume they're asking us for. So this is still going to be our square, or sorry, not square, cubed units. So they were inches, so inches cubed. So 2.5 or two and a half inches cubed for that first one. Go ahead and look at the second one. See if you can figure out what those side lengths are real quick. All right. So I'm seeing here there's one, two, and a half again. So 2.5. There's two right there, so that makes one whole, and there's just a half of a guy right here, so a 0.5. So I am going to take 2.5 times one times 0 0.5. And remember, you do get to use a calculator, so if you wanna go ahead and grab that and do it real quick, we should get 1.25 inches cubed for our volume for this one. Okay, so this next slide is a little bit different. On the last one, they were already built with cubes. Now it says how many half inch cubes will it take to fill this rectangular prism? So before each two cubes made one full inch. So here we're kind of going backwards. They're telling us the length, like if they measured it with a ruler, they want to know how many half inches would have fit in there. So just, I'm just gonna draw you a little picture real quick that I think kind of helps. So just imagine this is equal to one inch. Well, how many half inches fit in there? So here would be a half, here would be a half, right? So every one inch is two half inches. So really, if I'm looking at like, I think the height here is probably the easiest one to do. If there's two inches here for the height right here, well, how many halves would it fit in there? Well, you'd have two halves in the first inch, two halves in the second inch, so that's four halves all together, which really makes perfect sense because four halves is equal to two holes. So that's basically what we're doing. We're just changing these into seeing how many halves fit in there, which really the easiest way to do that is just to multiply each side length by two. Okay, so I'm gonna change this two inches to four because it's four half inch blocks are gonna fit in there. One half inch is fitting into a half inch, that makes sense. And then two and a half inches, remember it's two for every one inch, so that's four, and then the extra half inch would make this five. Again, the easiest way is just multiply each of these by two. So now using these new numbers we have, we're gonna do five times one times four. And when we multiply that, we get 20. 
We do have to be careful with our units here. It's not inches cubed because they're not asking us for volume this time. This time they're asking us how many cubes will fill this, okay? So it's really 20 cubes, like actual little blocks is how we would fit 20 little blocks inside of here. Okay, see if you can change the numbers on the next one. Okay, we should have for our height, instead of three, it's going to be six. Our half inch turns into one whole, and one and a half turns into three. So then we're gonna do three times one times six. Okay, that is 18. Again, our unit is cubes because it's how many little blocks would fit in there. So there is our answer. Go ahead and do the rest of the slides and submit.